For decades in the United States, our safety has been enhanced by using flame retardants. Household and office furnishings, automotive, rail, and aviation components, consumer electronic parts, construction materials. These products have been resistant to fire because of flame retardants. Despite this, some have questioned whether this layer of protection is really necessary. More than 350,000 fires strike homes every year in the U.S. Although still too high, the number of home fires has been cut in half since flame retardants came into widespread use in home furnishings. Based on these statistics, the North American Flame Retardant Alliance says, yes, flame retardants are essential. Studies showing their value are readily available. Take televisions, for instance. In the early 1970s, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission declared that televisions presented an unreasonable risk of fire. About 160 people were dying every year in fires caused by TVs. Televisions posed a danger. In response, U.S. TV manufacturers immediately began a series of tests to determine the best way to improve their product's fire safety. And they developed a voluntary standard for resistance to a small ignition source. This is generally achieved with the addition of flame retardants. We can see the results of this research by observing a modern-day fire test. This new television was produced for the Brazilian market, which does not yet require TVs to be fire-resistant. The set is exposed to a small open flame for just 60 seconds. Within minutes, the TV is engulfed in flames. When a set like this is in a residential room, flashover can occur in less than five minutes. Temperatures exceeding 500 degrees cause everything in the vicinity to burst into flames. In many cases, a home burns to the ground. But what happens when a television is effectively flame retarded? In a word, nothing. This test shows a TV, now protected with flame retardants, in direct contact with an open flame for more than 10 minutes. As this time-lapse footage reveals, even after being exposed to an open flame the entire time, the television fails to ignite. The TV tests from the 1970s showed the same thing. Flame retardants work. Not only when electrical components inside the television malfunction and overheat, but also when a set is exposed to an external flame. In both cases, the potential for a large, dangerous fire is drastically reduced. Since the 1970s, manufacturers of televisions sold in the U.S. have voluntarily adhered to a flammability standard by using flame retardants. And it's worked. In 1979, the Consumer Product Safety Commission attributed a decline in TV fire incidents to stringent flammability standards. In the United States, deaths due to fires caused by televisions have decreased drastically. Perhaps one day soon, TVs in other countries will be made safer as well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Flame retardants can help protect you and your family from the devastation of fire. For more information on flame retardants, go to flameretardantfacts.com.